Hello everyone, welcome back to Skincare with Ashley where I help you perfect your skincare needs. All of you, thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're new to this channel, well, why not consider subscribing, joining the family, we can all just geek out on skincare together and hopefully by the end have perfect skin. So today I'm going to be doing a review of two COSRX overnight masks. So I've got the Nourishing Rice Mask to talk about and I've also got the Moisturising Honey Mask as well. So if this is interesting to you then give the video a thumbs up and let's get straight into it. So first off let's just start by saying COSRX is a Korean brand, they are cruelty free as well. I'm going to start off with the mask I prefer, can you guys guess what that is? It is actually the Nourishing Rice Mask which has got 68.9% rice extract in which is going to help soften the skin, it's also a rich source of antioxidants. It's also got sunflower oil as well which is rich in antioxidants. It's got palm oil and it's got niacinamide. Niacinamide is a fantastic ingredient, it can help get rid of blemishes, it can just help your skin barrier. It's just overall a really nice ingredient that a lot of people can use in their skincare and get benefits from. So overall with the ingredients, it's got some really nice ingredients. I do actually like the fact that 68.9% of it is rice extract. So I was looking at this mask for a while and when I saw Shireen Idris, Dr. Shireen Idris here on YouTube talk about rice extract and just rice water putting it on her skin, it gave me the idea to get this. Now obviously this isn't the same as rice water but I just thought let's give this mask a go but it's really a lightweight consistency. Now it does say an overnight mask. Personally I don't really think I would consider it an overnight mask really. I've used it quite a bit. I've used it on its own as like a moisturiser. It's definitely not enough especially for night time. No way is it enough. Personally let me just show you first of all and then I'll carry on. So that's what it looks like, like I said, a very, very lightweight consistency and it just basically the moment you touch it, it just starts to melt and it feels quite kind of like a light oily consistency. It does feel really nice, it feels really hydrating, it makes your skin really nice and soft but for an overnight mask it's definitely not moisturizing enough and that's for me as well who's got oily skin it is the middle of summer as well so I'm actually not sure why they call it an overnight mask it's very light in consistency it doesn't really moisturize your skin that much personally I don't think so I think if you called it a serum then definitely it's a fantastic job and to be honest, I don't even think it's good enough to use in the daytime. This is summertime here. I've got oily skin, especially at summertime. It's, uh, you know, quite hot at the moment. And this is not moisturising enough. It's certainly not enough for me to use in the day as a moisturiser. Now, if I was going to use it and then follow up with a moisturising sunscreen, maybe then. But... Personally, I don't think it's a great moisturiser. It does go nicely underneath makeup. I definitely do think my skin feels nice and soft when I use it. However, it's not thick enough for a night mask in my opinion. It's not the right sort of consistency either that I would want to use as the last step in my routine. So at night time, I've used it quite a lot to be honest recently. I've used it mainly as like a serum. I do like that it's got a lot of antioxidants with the rice extracts. I do like that it's got a little bit of oil so it just glides on really easily. It makes your skin feel really nice and soft. And I do like that it's got niacinamide. So if you want a little bit of all of that in one, it's a great option. I can't say if I'm definitely going to buy it again or I'm definitely not going to buy it again. I do think I would have to use it a little bit more. Um, and then like you know once I've used all of it I'll have a better idea but at the moment I like it just not the way they 
say that you should use it. So now let's move on to the honey mask. Now this I'm not a fan of at all to be honest. This is the ultimate moisturising honey overnight mask. First off it does say that it's a honey mask. However when you look at the ingredients there's no honey in it at all. None whatsoever. It has got 87% of propolis extract which is basically like a resin that the bees use to build their hive. However it's got no honey in it at all. The propolis extract has got some antioxidant properties. It has got ingredients that are emollient rich. So for example, it's got hydrogenated castor oil. It's also got beeswax. These are going to protect your skin and gonna help protect your skin from, you know, water loss. And it's also got sodium hyaluronate as well, which is humectant. So that's going to help plump up your skin. It's going to help keep the moisture on the top layer of your skin. Now, when I first used this, I really thought it was a terrible product. I used it another time, I thought the same thing. The first time I used it, I literally just went in with a toner, a serum, then I put this on and I was like, this does not feel moisturizing. The next morning, my skin did not feel hydrated, nothing. I used it again and i actually used a little bit more hydrating ingredients before i put this on still didn't use a moisturizer i put this on i thought no this doesn't feel moisturizing this doesn't feel good do i have to keep using it i want to review it but anyway wasn't a fan the next morning i actually looked in the mirror and i thought my skin looked plump i did i thought my skin looked nice and plump but it didn't particularly feel soft, it didn't particularly feel hydrated, it just looked healthy, if that makes any sense. But anyway, I wasn't that sure what I thought of it. But after using it a number of times, after using it with lots of, you know, different products, um, like, you know, slathering lots of things on and then using it, because again, definitely not what... I was thinking it was going to be definitely not like a moisturizer i realized what this actually does now like i said it's rich in emollients i don't think it's moisturizing i don't think it's particularly hydrating i don't feel like it feels nourishing or it feels like it's doing that much when you put it on your skin when you put it on your skin it dries really fast to be honest even if you put quite a lot of different products underneath you put it on it's still kind of like ends up giving you kind of like a matte feel very soon after but what i did realize is that because it's rich in emollients what it's actually doing is just locking in everything that you've put in which I think can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. Let me explain. Right. I just think that with this, there's not really much need for it, to be honest. Because I think if you've got dry skin and you put a lot of moisture on and you want that hydration, you want it to be locked in, you want that plumpness, I feel like you might as well just use another product, to be honest. Because... This isn't moisturising at all and the way it's going to leave your skin afterwards when you put it on. I don't think if you've got dry skin it's what you're looking for. So I think you might as well, to be honest, I just think you might as well get something else. I think if you've got dry skin you can put everything on, you can use Vaseline, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to be a lot cheaper. I'm not saying Vaseline, I'm just giving that as an example. But, you know, you can get moisturisers, maybe you can get like the CeraVe moisturising cream. That's probably going to help lock in quite a bit of moisture into your skin. I'd rather get that. I'd rather get a lot of other things. This has really not got a lot going for it, in my opinion. It's got the honey, which is, you know, it hasn't got the honey. They lied about that. Sorry. It's got the propolis, which has got antioxidants. And then it's basically just emollients, basically. It's emollients and a little bit of hyaluronic acid, 
Hyaluronic acid is in a lot of things anyway. I don't particularly think it's the most like wow ingredient ever. And I think if you've got oily skin as well, it's not really any need for it to be honest because I don't know. I do find that it leaves my skin plump and not hydrated, not moisturized, just plump. It locks everything in. But I've got other products that are going to do the same thing. It's not like the most wow thing ever. So I think it's just a little bit of a waste of time, really, to be honest. I'd definitely rather get the Ultimate Nourishing Rice Mask than the Honey Mask. It's definitely not something for night time. It's definitely not something for moisturization. It's not a moisturizer at all. Literally, the, on the only purpose for it is to lock everything in. But... It's going to leave your skin like a matte feel. I don't think if you've got dry skin, that's what you want. It's not really what I want either when I go to bed. It's not really what I want in the daytime. I don't like it, to be honest. I don't recommend at all. The rice mask, I think if you want to try one of them, that's definitely worth giving a try. Again, just use it as a serum. You can use it as a last step if you want. Me, myself, I am going to carry on using it as a serum. But I'm definitely not going to buy this one again, definitely not. So that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've thoroughly enjoyed it once again. If you've enjoyed it too, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see further content and you're not subscribed, well, click that subscribe button. Join in the family and we can all geek out on skincare together. Until next time, all of you, keep looking after your skin.